Once upon a time in space school, there began a strained relationship between two uncommon enemies. Frank Sinatra was a hip space fish dressed head to fin in a pinstripe suit. He splashed with so much swagger that the entire school wanted to be him. This suave piranha loved his pizza. For lunch one day, he approached the lunch elephant for his daily slice. She was unfortunately out of pizza for the day. She had just given her last slice away. Who has it? Who has it? Uh, it went to that Capone kid over there. Uh, it went to that Capone kid over there. Frank walked up to a dusty, mangy orange space cat named Capone. Capone was in the middle of eating a sweet slice of anchovy space pizza. Funny thing about space pizza, it floats. It's halfway to your mouth already. Excuse me, uh, I believe that belongs to me, sir. I don't think so. I spent my last good tokens getting this pizza. I will give you two tokens and my lunch for that pizza. Uh, no thanks. Uh, I am really looking forward to this pizza smells perfect. Frank, feeling super cheesed, reaches over and grabs Capone's pizza. With a supreme swing of his muscular fin, he hurls the pizza across the cafeteria. It smacks the lunch elephant square in the back of the head. Capone takes his cat paw and swats Frank's tray out of his grasp. In the corner of the room, a lion stands up from his lunch table. Food fight! The cafeteria erupts with noise. Burgers, milkshakes, pizza, sodas, nachos all join the chaos. There were candy clouds so thick it made the air sweet. This commotion caused the closest teacher in the hallway to enter the room. A blowfish named Miss Boombalati, who is a resident science fiction teacher. Her entrance is halted by an ice-cold milkshake slammed against her new lady suit. Ugh, why me, of all days, the day of school pictures. Now I need to go home and change. Everyone needs to calm down before I inflate with rage. Who started this? The entire cafeteria halts and falls silent except for the sound of sliding jello dripping down the wall. A rogue piece of cheese falls from the ceiling onto Miss Boomblatty. She has had enough. This was the last straw. She puffs out of control. The principal comes in from the hallway after the food fight has settled down. He scoots past a disgruntled, puffed-up teacher. Mr. Hoof, a stern Clydesdale with an affinity for hay and peace, breathes in a huge breath. The cafeteria, still in silence, all points to Capone and Frank. Uh, Mr. Hoof here. You two are going to spend the next two weeks cleaning this cafeteria. Over the next few weeks, Frank and Capone started to bond over their joint experience and learned that they had more in common than their affinity for pizza. Frank learned that Capone was a great student, while Capone learned that Frank has a big heart and is very loyal to his friends. They became lifelong friends and enjoyed the remainder of their space school education. They never started another food fight or judged a book by its cover ever again. The End Thank you.